mind. Hey, Rachel. Yes, you said it, guys. Something about that three, two, one liftoff countdown that just gives you butterflies. And knowing that a Valley professor is now up in space, making history and breaking barriers, really serving as inspiration for so many of us. When we lift off, it's going to be uh, inspiring, um, not only for me, but I think everybody who's following along. And the crowd goes wild for the crew in the capsule. Inspiration for crew. One more driving and tapping in. A successful launch and the vehicle is now in orbit. Throttling down in preparation for the period of maximum dynamic pressure. The all-civilian crew, including South Mountain Community College geoscientist Dr. Cyan Proctor, showing her joy on the live feed from inside the capsule. I'm pretty sure I saw Dr. Cyan Proctor give us two thumbs up. <laughs> yep. I'm sure she enjoyed this ride that she's been waiting for her entire life. Copy, We're throttled one back up and one Bravo, the call out from space. That's one of the abort sequences. That is a nominal call. Everything continues to be good. The world watching as pilot Dr. Proctor and the other three pioneers give props on board. I think I see some more thumbs up there. <laughs> Dr. Proctor is clearly excited that she's finally in space. Dr. Proctor is fulfilling her lifelong dream of going to space. Her late father was a NASA contractor working the Apollo missions in the 1960s. She herself was a finalist in the astronaut selection process back in 2009. So now it's mission accomplished as Dr. Proctor becomes the first woman of color to pilot a spaceship means that I have this opportunity to not only um, accomplish my dream, but also inspire and inspire the next generation of women of color. It's just so cool, you guys. Dr. Proctor and the crew will be conducting several science experiments from space on their three-day mission. We'll be anxiously awaiting their safe return this weekend to see what they discover and hear more about their historic mission to space. We're live in the Alert Center. Rachel Cole, 12 News at 10.